Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And with me today, I have got young heavyweight contender from Sheffield, Cash Allen. Hello. How are you doing Cash? Good sir, how are you? Yeah. Good to see you right. mate, how are you doing? Uh, well, let, I don't really know where to start Cash, so I think we'll start from the beginning. How long have you been boxing? Yeah, I've been boxing since I was a young kid. Yeah. Um, I, I went around Brendan, I went around a few gyms, started off. Yeah. Uh, my dad got me into it, you know. Always good fighting, my dad was yeah. into fighting, so it was yeah. always something I was going to do. Yeah, yeah. And that's it, yeah. So, you're 27 now, you're 15 and 1, you've just signed with Dennis Hobson and you've been trained by Richard Towers. That's yes. basically, that's where we're at now. Isn't yeah, it? that's where I'm at. Your last fight with David Price on Sky, you were doing alright, but you lost your cool, didn't you? Yeah. Ended up being a bit of a helmet, and you beat him, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I thought it was a competitive yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I thought the round, the incident happened. Yeah, it yeah. It was my best round. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it ended like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've learned from it, and it, it definitely won't happen again. Yeah. It was just a mistake, uh, yeah. my head went. Yeah. Right, so the way I look at it is this, right? You can obviously fight and you've got skills and that, but it's like Richard there messing about with that blender over there. Everything's all got to blend and come together, hasn't it? Right, it's all got to come together. Richard's very meticulous. Do you think that leading up to that fight that you might have been doing some things in training that you shouldn't have been doing? Or you won you on the ball 100%? What, what yeah, I, I was, I was not get me not sparred hard, I trained, I did train. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, you need someone maybe a bit more mature, a bit more older. Yeah. And with Richard, I've got that click, you know, he's, he's on yeah. his friend, I see him as a good man. But yeah. in the training side of things, yeah. he's got that, um, it's the maturity and that kind of thing. Yeah. And, um, that he's been there and done it, yeah. hasn't he, Richard? Hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. No, I say he's been there, done it, seen it all, and it's part of being heavyweight as well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that experience. Yeah. So, who is your best win then? Who would you say is your best win, Cash? Uh, I probably I've had I've had I beat a kid called Kamil Sokolovsky. He was Sokolovsky. he's a good kid. He's beat yeah. he's beat a lot of. Uh, Did you knock him out? Or no, I beat him on points. You beat him on points. So yeah. that's basically your best. I so, knocked out Paul Butlin, that was a good knockout. Yeah, so basically you're a bit raw then aren't you? You've had 16 fights, 15 in one, but yeah, you're still so, raw yeah. aren't you? Yeah, I'm still up, I'm, I'm still learning that, I know yeah, I'm a back right. And I'm still learning, you know, it's a, you never, you never get enough yeah. learning done. And you've obviously got a bit of a profile now, but obviously you didn't just want it to, just to be over the bite and that, so hopefully there's something to work with. Uh, if you were no good, then it's going to sign you anyway, because that's, that's how he works, I know him. Yeah. So you have, there's something there to work for Dennis to work with, and we're gonna. I don't know what, what we're gonna put put you in with next, but I think you're gonna be out November, December. Yeah. Uh, what are you hoping to add to your game leading up to then? Like I said, right now I'm, I'm training. I've started training with Richard. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Pushing it. I'm training. That's all I can do. I'm giving him my best. Training hard, isn't it? But yeah, it, isn't it? that's it. Uh, we're on it. I'm training. I'm pushing myself. That's yeah. all I can do and yeah. the rest I leave with uh, Dennis who's going to do the manager yeah. Yeah. and I just keep listening to Richard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically, have you got a family, Cash? Yeah. Have you, how many kids have you got? No, 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 no I'm not married. No, you, you live no, with your parents? Yeah, I that? live with my mum and uh, my got a younger brother, yeah. You live with your mum and your younger brother, yeah. so you've got a family behind you, so you're all right that way. You drive a car and everything, don't you? Yeah, I get to the gym, my brother helps me out. So, so basically, all you need to concentrate on now is training, and that's it, and the right diet, yeah. listen to Richard, and just let everything. That's all it is with training. Out. There's three things you need to do in boxing is train hard, yeah. sleep well, yeah. and eat right. Yeah, well, this is why Dennis has sent me around here to see you, because he wants people to know the real cash alley, that you're not this crazy man that goes around biting people in ring and Yeah, that's so people have got an image of me now, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it's not Jaws. Yeah, <laughs> Jaws. Yeah, 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 I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was, it, it, it's not good and the thing is, people get, uh, people put image in their heads 
thinking that's me, but the people that know me, that, that's not me. Yeah. And yeah. You know, everyone makes mistakes. And yeah. I made one live on Sky Sports. And yeah. Yeah. In front of millions of people. Yeah. yeah. But, it's not your fault, is it? <laughs> that everybody's watching. Well, you know, I'll go again and uh, I won't do it again. Yeah. Right, so who did you start training with first off? Obviously, Brendan Ingle, yeah? Yeah. And then who trained you after that, Dominic? Yeah, with Brendan and Dominic, I started training. Actually, what happened is, I thought I was going to box. I went to Brendan when I was a kid. Yeah. And I did a bit with Dave Caldwell. I trained as a kid. And then. We did a bit what? With Dave Caldwell, yeah? yeah as a kid, yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I drew a bit at Brendan's as well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Cheers, yes. The chat. To all friends and no friends. Yeah. Cheers, cheers. And then, so you started off with Brendan, Dominic, you've trained with Col Dave Caldwell, and who after that? But when I started training with uh, Brendan, yeah. I thought when I was amateurs there, then when I started training with Richard, not, uh, well, not just sparring him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember helping Richard out for some of his fights, so helping me, but yeah, I was yeah. sparring him anyway. Helping yourself, helping, helping each other. Helping each other, yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I, start, I sparred with him a few fights. I think I went to watch Richard fight one day, and uh, he knocked this kid out. And I spotted him before that fight, and then Dom said, "You know, I think I think he could go pro." And then from yeah. there, I, I turned over, turned yeah. professional. And before you know it, one and all, seven and all. I think got to nine and all with Brendan. Yeah, go on, yeah, keep going, talk on, yeah, yeah. Well, listen. So you've been around all the gyms around here. You're a Sheffield lad. You've been around all these gyms around here. You know all everybody on boxing scene. You're now with Richard and Dennis. Um, things are looking good for you. Your last trainer, um, have you partnered as mates or are you alright? Yeah, the last fight I had. Uh, yeah, he's had the metrics who were training you for that, didn't uh, Yeah, yeah. Him and my brother were helping me, and then, uh, yeah, I had, that, I had one fight before that, and then that prize fight. Right. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still friends with him. You still with him? That's, that's good, then, that. Boxing brings everybody together. So, you, it's, a no, it's a dawn of a new beginning to you now. Right, it, you, you've got the world in your hands, you can't see it because you're only a young kid, aren't you, 27, yeah. but if you could see what's ahead of you now, if it all goes well, you could end up a real fat car. <laughs> if you listen to all the people around you, Richard and Dennis, and these people have seen it and done it, haven't they? Yeah. Richard, yeah. Uh, he's been with Brendan Ingle, he's lived with Emmanuel Stewart, Adam Booth, yeah. Dominic Kingle, he's been around it all his life, hasn't he? So he's going to give all this to you, so, well, well, the, so the, yeah, you. all the knowledge and the experience he's gained yeah. is going to he's going to pass it on to us, and he is passing it on. I'm, I'm learning, I'm, I'm learning each day. Yeah, so even though I've had 16 fights, yeah. I'm like, a, in some ways, I still feel like a novice when it comes to, yeah. and it's never, it never got enough, you know, learning yeah. done. But I'm enjoying it, and uh, it's mm. going to be a good ride. Yeah, it's uh, who are the people that you've sparred in the past? You know what? I've sparred quite a top of the head. I've sparred quite a lot. I sparred with Richard, sparred Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, uh, Dylan White, Dylan White, uh, Richard, Dave Allen, Dave Allen, Dave Price, David Price. Dave Price. Yeah. Dave Price. You yeah. sparred Dave yeah, Price. Yeah, I did some quite a few rounds with him. Did you get? Oh, so you would have had a good gauge of how he fights then, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had some good spars with him as well. I've, yeah, I've sparred pretty much. Sparred Joshua, I've sparred Joshua. I'm pretty Joshua, yeah. yeah. Oh. I've had some, I'd, uh, I sparred him before the tackle fight, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, good. So, then, isn't it? Did you get paid? Yeah, I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, then, it? Yeah, that's good, mate. That's brilliant. So you've had some good sparring and that there. So it's all there for you. It's all up to you now, isn't it? It's, it's no, all that's up it. To you. I'm. You can either be a cabbie or you can be a world champion boxer, can't you? <laughs> no, you don't take that that's... wrong way. No, no, that's my uh, my 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 aim and my goal hasn't changed. Yeah, yeah. No, I, my, the, my, I know, I know stuff happened. I know stuff happened in yeah. my uh, last fight. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so leading up to the uh, the David Price fight, obviously you won't you won't write. Did you have anything uh, happen in the background? Because you had some personal problems, didn't you? Like yeah, there was a lot going on with Price. Yeah, like, you know, it, uh, yeah. it, you can't make excuses, but you know, not even, it's not even been twelve months before the fight. I yeah. lost my dad. Was I'm people, sorry to hear. I'm sorry. Yeah. How old were your dad? Just turned uh, fifty. So your dad, you lost your dad at fifty, 50 years old. Yeah, and, right. and he was he wasn't a he wasn't a bad fifty years old. He was still healthy, you know. Yeah. He could walk. Why did he die? Yeah. He had a heart attack. So and Just did that day. was that leading up to the prize fight then? No, no, it wasn't. It's not even that. It was like. Under a year, but just mentally it was very tough. All the way through, I had a couple of fights after that, but yeah. my head wasn't in it. Yeah. Uh, my body, I'm doing. My body was doing it, but my head was even the fights I had after that. My head wasn't, it wasn't in it, and when I had that fight, it, I, I missed it more because my, my first big fight 
That's when I felt like I needed a little, I, I felt like I didn't have a little on my head. Yeah. Everything was just uh, aggressive and explosive, explosive. There yeah. were no, yeah. I needed someone, like, you know, I needed someone on top of my head kind of thing that much. And I think that's why Richard, he gives, he gives me that as well. That's another important yeah, factor for me. Yeah, yeah, Richard's quite stable, isn't he? Um, he he's experienced, isn't he? he can, he's probably what, you probably you and Richard are probably a good fit, actually. No, you know, sometimes you got to go around the world. Yeah, to, uh, yeah. Come back. What was there from the start? Yeah. But I'm glad I've been here, there, and everywhere. But now I've realised I've got a good, good click. Yeah. Like I said, a size boxing with friends anyway. But yeah. In the boxing time, I look up to him. Like I said, one of the reasons I turned pro was because I was sparring with Richard. Yeah. And you thought so, if I can do well against Richard, so I was sparring. I think I was sparring him, and I, I was like, "Whoa, they're dumb," and they turned me pro. So if I was, if I wasn't any good, they wouldn't have asked me yeah. to pro. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it's, I think we've we clicked in every department. Yeah. Um, well, definitely. That. Well, I, I hope so because I, I'm going to be well. I'm going to be part of your journey because I work with Dennis, obviously. Yeah. So I want to see you do well. The better for you, the better that people are going to get to see my channel a lot, a lot because a lot of people who do what I do, what they do, they affiliate themselves with certain boxers and promoters. Yeah. It's very easy, you know, like Eddie and he has Coogan go around yeah. all his fighters, doesn't he? Well, this is what I'm going to do with Dennis. But I want to see you do well because I saw that fight and it left yeah. a bad taste in my mouth mm. because I thought you threw a good opportunity away to beat David Price no, and get definitely. in the mix. I did the hard part. The hard yeah. part was getting through them first four yeah. rounds. And to, yeah, that's what it was. David Price is not known to go distance either. Yeah, if, yeah. If you don't knock you out within four rounds, you know, well, I know he beat Dave Allen that day, but yeah. he went 11 rounds. But generally, getting past the four rounds with him, I did the hard part, I took his shots. Yeah. and. I had my own little game plan, I tied him out. But I know that wasn't me. Physically I wanted my best, mentally I yeah. wanted my best. And yeah. I just I just, I just dealt with what I had and I just took an opportunity and obviously it was a bit crazy what happened. Like, yeah. I can keep with the city and I can be apologetic. But I need to move on and people can people see the real me. Yeah. I'm not beating myself off. Have I looked? You made a mistake, didn't you? Yeah. You made a mistake and but the board have given you a six month ban, aren't they? Yeah. You're going to put that right now, aren't you? Yeah, no, definitely, right. definitely. So, you've got a new start here, 15 and 1. Yeah, you've had a defeat, but it's that not, defeat, we can put that right down the line. People, no, it's not people that watch the fight, no boxing. <laughs> I, I, David Price didn't beat me. Yeah, you beat yourself. Yeah, I, it was, it was, look at the outcome, you know. Yeah. And who knows, yeah. who knows down the line. Yeah. You know, you never know. Obviously, I, I know David Price has come off a yeah. couple of good wins. Yeah, go on, yeah. So, you are right. You, you never done. Anytime. Right. Uh, what I want to talk about now is, what what would you think would be a good fight for you to come back? What sort of fight do you think? Because I've, I've got a good idea what Dennis wants to put you in with. What, what do you think? I mean, what are your goals, obviously, to be heavyweight champion? Yeah, right? yeah, of course. That's that's The day I don't think that, the day I can't, the day I, the day I think I can't, become yeah. champ then it stops right there. I want to go beyond British champion. Yeah. And yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to just stay at that level. Yeah. How would you feel about fighting David Allen? Yeah, I know Dave. I'm good you know, friends with him. Yeah, I've known him since. You won't be friends if you fight, will you? Yeah. <laughs> like, I can still fight anyone. If yeah, yeah, if yeah. The, you know, if, that's, if right. the mood is right, it makes sense. Yeah. But I want to go beyond. Dave beyond Allen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, anyone is just, anyone is in front of me. Yeah. I'll fight him. Well, it's just I want to go beyond them. I want to become the heavyweight champ of the world. That's my yeah. goal. That's my goal. It's not. It's not going to change. Yeah. Uh, and the people around me believe that. Yeah. But that's it. That's what I'm in for. I'm not yeah. in for a short career or I want to quit. Or I want to reach the best. And I think my potential is enough to get to the top. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So basically, I'm going to wish you well on your journey, Cash. Thank you. Uh, you know, with Dennis Hobson promotion, you're trained by Richard Towers, yeah. former European champion. Yes. He's been with Ingalls years, he knows his stuff, doesn't he? No, definitely. You've got an opportunity to shake up the world. Shake up the world. <laughs> rumble, young man, rumble. Right. <laughs> rumble, young man, rumble. So, well, listen, all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming on board. He's no, gone, I appreciate it. Um, oh, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe, because then you get your porky fix straight to your phone. All right. Yeah. Wish Cash all the best. Anybody who wants any tickets to watch Cash's fights, get in touch at Corner Porky on Twitter or Porky Corner at mail.com or what's your Twitter handle, Cash? Uh, it's Cash Ali Boxing and my Instagram is Cash Ali 313. All, all you hardcore boxing fans, get behind this kid here, he's a local lad, 
and uh, he made a mistake that he wants to put it right and that isn't the real cash either, the one that bit Richard, uh, one that bit David Price on Mr. Richard. <laughs> That's not what he's about, but when you're in that ring it's hard to explain what goes through you. But let's wish him all the best and get behind this kid here. Alright, so peace out, keep on trucking, Thank you very keep much. supporting boxing. Thank you very much.